Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is the Rally Car Project. Right, so a quick insight about this car. I've probably already described it a little bit, but I'll just repeat myself anyways. So this is a 1975 Mark III Mini, classic Mini Clubman. Um, what did I say about it? It had a 998 engine in it. I have a 12G295 head, which is the 1100 open imported head from factory. It was already on it, which was good. So that's a little bit more horsepower, of course. Um, so what I plan to do with it is strip it out, put a full roll cage in it, um, basically prep it all for rally. That's the main thing I'm going to show you guys. Um, also, I'm going to show the engine build and gearbox build, what I'm going to do to that, how I build it. Also, I'm new to this sort of thing, so it won't be to the highest level, but I will do my best, and if you guys can give me any tips, let me know. Or if you want any advice, again, just down in the comments, let me know. Right, I'll show you guys the car now. So, this is the car. It's already been stripped down fully. I did that about a month and a half ago. Just take every single part off it. It maybe has like the old part left on it, like here. This can be detached here for the radiator. And also the fuel line needs to detach still. But apart from that, she's all fully stripped. And ready to be sandblasted. I'll show you the inside in a second. Let's see all the boot stripped out. Ignore the mess in the car. Sorry, we're doing some work on it so far. Right. So the first thing that needs doing on it is a bit of rust work, repair work, and a few bits of cutting out to prepare for the roll cage. So I've already started this car, as you can tell, all stripped out. All I've done so far is cut the companion boxes out. Um, there's two reasons why you do this for rally car, or rally mini, sorry. You do this, one, to reduce weight, and secondly, the roll cage is going to have a mount here, somewhere along here. I'm not exactly sure yet, because I haven't got the roll cage yet. But it will be along here. And if you have the companion box coming up, it's going to be really hard to get in there and weld, and you can't see it. All that sort of trouble, and yeah. So that's why you take the companion box out. So you get a bit more room to weld up and everything. I also took the flanges off here, and the wheel arch here. So the, the flange here is supposed to stay on here, but I decided let's just get rid of it. And I decided to patch it up. I probably should have uh, cut around it and made a butt weld patch. So basically what that is, is making, uh, say, a hole in the, in the um, metal, and making the metal the exact same, the new replacement metal the exact same size as the hole, and then welding it around. But this is a rally car, and I want to make it a quick project and maybe come back to it in the future. I've just put a patch on it for now. As you can see, the welding isn't great because I didn't sand back enough of the paint in the corner and also the rubber sealant they use from factory. There's a little bit of blotching in the corner. So I just used one millimeter thick steel and just cut it up to the right size so I need to and then just welded some the MIG welder. Right yeah. And this is the next thing I'm doing now. I'm designing, I did the same on the other side by the way. So I'm designing the honeycomb or the a gusset. So a gusset basically is a reinforcement plate between two bits of metal, generally on an angle. So basically you have one piece of metal here and one there at 90 degrees and you have a bit of metal in between. This just gives it more strength, more rigidity, and it's just better for the car, growing corners in a race or something. So what I've done here is made a cardboard prototype for what I want it to look like. So I've got it sort of a 45 degree angle. i just get to the angle here, like that. I've made the edges here, so I can't let the car a little bit. And that's what we just sit on the seam here, where the, the rear seat used to go. I cut the rear seat out, by the way, as well just to the edge of a lip here, there's a little seam or the where they come together. I use that seam to my advantage. So you can see just up there on there. And I make it come out to the same as where the boot, sorry the not the boot, the rear seat 
um, what's the name of this part? Uh, strength and bracket, you could call it. It comes down here on the center mini, and I made it a little rough line really, so it lines up with the edge of the cable where it goes sticks down and you around there. So it's a template for there. There will also be lightning holes in here, so just drill out some random holes probably, just to lighten up a bit more because it's be quite heavy, a bit of steel in there. And I hope to do the same on the sides as well, so all along, all along there, but probably slightly smaller, less angle, and just to there. And then also the roll cage, uh, the mounts or plates, we've got in that corner, excuse me, miss, this corner, that corner, and the same on the other side. So that's sort of where I'm at. I hope you enjoyed this little video I made about the car, and you've, you've seen the car. If you've enjoyed it, keep following the series, keep watching it, and I'll keep you guys updated. Till next time. Cheers.